guys, it is Aoife from Words of Clover and I'm here with one of my favourite announcements of every year and that is the Irish Readathon 2023 announcement. So this is a readathon that myself and my co-host Leanne over at Leanne Rose have been doing for the last few years and it is always my favourite time of the reading year and I just absolutely love sharing all the Irish books that I've been reading and watching other people take part in this readathon and yeah, it is definitely just the highlight of my reading year every single year. So if you don't know what the Irish Readathon is, if you've never heard about it before, it is basically a month-long readathon during the month of March, where the emphasis is basically just to read as many books either set in Ireland or written by Irish authors as you can. And we just try to encourage people to read more uh, Irish books as much as we can. So just a reminder as well that we have a Discord channel that we started last year, and that was a really fun way of kind of talking to people who were uh, getting involved in the readathon. People were sharing what they were reading. They were sharing recommendations. So if anyone wants to get uh, involved in that, I will leave the uh, like invite link to the Discord channel below and you can take part and just chat along with us uh, during March and then through the rest of the year as well. Then we also have a Storygraph reading challenge as well. So the link up to that will be below as well if you want to join that and you can mark all the books that you're reading uh, during March and try and, uh, you know, tick off all those um the reading prompts um, as much as you want. To share the Irish Readathon challenges for 2023, a couple of them are the same as they have been the last few years. Um, as always, one of our main uh, challenges is to just read a book with green on the cover. This is for anyone who might have a little bit of a harder time getting a hold of any Irish fiction. So you just read a book with any any type of book um, that has green on the cover and then you're taking part in this readathon. There's also, again, no... Um, people don't have to fill like to fulfill every single one of these prompts you can do as much or as little as you want to as long as you read one book during the month of March um, then you are taking part in the readathon and if that book it just happens to be a book with a green cover then that is you taking part it's, it is absolutely okay then for the rest of the challenges we like to try and get people to read Irish books in particular for these challenges so the next challenge is to read an Irish children's book so this can be like a young children's book a middle grade book or a YA book whatever you want and we have had this challenge before and then uh, feedback from last year people told us that they really liked this challenge so we've decided to keep that in for this year and the next challenge is to read an Irish book that can be classed as commercial fiction so this can be a wide array of genres it can be a thriller uh, it can be a thriller uh, book it can be a crime book it can be a women's fiction book there are a lot of like really well-known Irish authors like Marion Keyes and Maeve Binchy who could be classed as commercial fiction so if you want to take part in that challenge you can read one of them then the next challenge is to read either a very long Irish book so 400 500 pages plus or a really short Irish book so less than 100 pages so again I think this kind of you know varies whoever whatever type of reading style you want if you want to read a chunkier book you can read a chunkier book if you maybe are into say like some poetry collections you can read a poetry collection um, or a novella type of uh, or short story for your short book whatever you want and then for the last official challenge it is to read an Irish book prompted by buzzword so we have created a list of nine different buzzwords that we got people to share with us we, we asked people to share kind of different words that they associate with both mine and Leanne's channel or the Irish readathon in general and we've chosen a few of those words to put on this bu buzzword list so the whole idea of this particular challenge is you just choose any of the words from this list and whatever kind of book in, like makes you think of that word and um, you can interpret it you can interpret the buzzword whatever way you want and uh, yeah you can just tick this off uh, for this challenge so our list of buzzwords are pride home language spring knowledge friendship dogs feminism and warmth so those are the nine buzzwords. Um, obviously, you don't have to tick off every single one of these. You can just choose one. Um, I might do a little bit of a fun thing. I might try and see if I can tick off all of them while I read, but uh, that might not be possible. So yeah, you only have to choose one of these buzzwords and read a book um, that you know is inspired by one of these buzzwords. And then for our group read for uh, 2023, we have already announced this on our socials. It is None of This is Serious by Catherine Prasivka. So this one is about a young girl called Sophie and she is just finishing off kind of her student like life. Um, I think she I think she must be at the end of like her college years. And this is just her as she is in, I think, kind of that state where, you know, she doesn't really know what's coming next. And she is kind of looking back at like her past. And um, I think she has some friendship and romance struggles in this as well. And then she also is dealing with things that are going on in the world, things that she's seen on social media. 
um like this is kind of like likened a little bit to, to books that have been written by Sally Rooney and Nisha Dolan and that kind of era of millennial Gen Z girl um you know in college uh kind of looking around at the world getting like these big opinions about the world as well uh so yeah I'm looking forward to reading this I've had this since last year um, and I haven't read it yet so I'm really glad that we chose this one for the group read and yeah if you want to take part in the discussion for this book as well we have particular discussion um like categories in the discord channel where people can talk about the book uh, like depending on where they are in the book and then a general discussion category as well where people can just talk about their overall feelings about the book too so that is how we will be discussing this book and um, if you guys want to get involved with that as well again the links to the discord will be below so yeah that is it the all the official things you need to know for the irish readathon again it is a month-long readathon in march and those are the challenges if you want to take part or if you want to just read any irish book what like at all even if they don't fit in with the cat in with the uh, particular challenges just pick up a book by an Irish author and you are taking part so please let me know if you are planning to take part in the readathon do you have any books that you know you will be reading during the uh, during the month of March I would really love to know thank you guys so much for watching as always and always a big massive thank you for all the support we always get for the readathon as I said it is my favorite time of the year I feel like I come alive closer and closer to March because uh, I just get so so excited for the re this readathon and to share my love of Irish books uh, with everyone everyone and to see people get involved it is just the absolute highlight of my reading year every single year so yeah I just wanted to share a massive massive thank you to anyone who has taken part in the past who is thinking of taking part this year you've no idea how much it means to the both of us and yeah we're just really really grateful so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys again next time bye